getting everything together for the recipe. I'm just getting everything together here on the counter, things that I need so that I don't forget anything. There's a few items, so I thought I would um, start with showing y'all what I'm going to be chopping up, how I'm going to cut the chicken. All right, we're going to dice our onion. It doesn't have to be very small dice because we're going to saute it anyway, but you cut it however you like it. It's not very important. I've already chopped my garlic. We're gonna put these together because we're gonna saute them together. Okay, so we have that. Now I have three bell peppers. You can use whatever color you like. If you wanna use a combination of the three for color, that's totally up to you. I think I'm just gonna use the red one today. We're not gonna use all of it. We're just gonna use about half of it. Now our bacon. I'm just gonna dice it into little squares. You can you can cook it in the toaster oven if you want, and then crumble it later. That's up to you, as long as it gets cooked however you want to cook it. Okay, we're just gonna put this on our little plate. Take it to the stove. Okay, and now to prepare our chicken. I am using chicken thighs. I think the chicken thighs are better because it doesn't, it doesn't get as dry as if you use chicken breast, but that is totally up to you. I'm just gonna remove some of this fat, and then we're gonna cube it into small pieces. Just about like that, that's a pretty good size for the chicken. So I'm just gonna keep going with the chicken and then I'll transfer you over to the stove. We are back at the stove. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to cook up our bacon. What I like to do as I'm cooking the bacon is I like to drain the fat. Uh, so this way when I'm done, I can just move on to the next item. Okay, as you can see here, the bacon is ready, the whole pack. It seems like a lot, but once it shrinks down, it's not that much. So I'm going to turn this off, and I am going to pour the bacon into my baking dish already, just like that. It's okay if you don't drain off a little bit of the fat. Okay, so we're going to leave this here. We're going to set this aside to cool. And now we are going to add our chicken. We're going to cook our chicken. Again, it seems like a lot once it cooks down, it's not that much. We are going to add salt and pepper at this point. Okay. All right, I've had this chicken cooking for, for a few minutes, five or ten minutes here. You don't have to let it brown. Just make sure that it's about 80% cooked because we're still going to pop this in the oven. So it's going to have more time to cook in the oven. Okay, so this is ready at this point. Now if you want it to brown it and get some brown pieces in there, that's fine too. I just don't want to dry out my chicken too much. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this off and we're going to dump it into on top of our bacon and use the same skillet. We're going to set this aside. That look yummy already. We're going to set this aside, use the same skillet, and we're going to use a little tiny bit of the bacon fat that we had earlier, just a little bit, just about a teaspoon or so. We are going to add our onions. We're going to saute our onions just until they're tender or translucent. And to the onions, I add just a pinch of salt to get them going. And they're already translucent. It doesn't take long because the skillet was already hot. So we're going to add in our bell pepper. And our garlic. Okay, and this comes together real quick. You don't want to overcook your vegetables. I'm going to turn this off and we're going to let it cool down for just a minute. 
I'm going to transfer you. Okay, now it's time to assemble everything. And the easiest way I have found to do this is we take our sour cream, put it into this large bowl, take our cream of chicken, and we're going to whisk this together. And we add our one measurement of milk, one can, milk, half and half, whatever you want to add in, that's okay. Okay, then we just break this up a little bit. And we start adding our vegetables. Everybody in. And we have to switch over to a spatula. We take our hash browns, the whole bag of hash browns, which is uh, 30 ounces, one pound, 14 ounces, almost two pounds. And if you have lumps, just break them up because you want those to get incorporated there. So just take the lumps and break them up. And now we start to mix this. Bring it all together. Look at that. There's a lot of flavor in here. Now we take our chicken mixture here. I just tell you to pour it into your casserole dish while you're cooking it so you don't have to dirty so many dishes. Okay, so we're going to mix all that in there. Okay, then we take our cheese. It's about two cups of cheese. broccoli. I put the broccoli in last so that I don't break it up. It's one bag of frozen broccoli. Try not to break it up too much. It's okay if it breaks up a little bit. Okay, so just mix this up and then we're going to transfer it back over to the casserole dish. Gets a little heavy in here guys, I'm not going to lie. Okay, now we just transfer it over to our casserole dish to bake. Okay, now the last component we have are our crispy fried onions. Use whatever brand you have on top, put those on top. Put as much or as little as you want. That makes a really good addition to this. And this thing, the casserole dish, guys, just so you know, it is full all the way. It's very, very heavy. This can feed a good eight to 10 people. So it's quite a bit of food. All right, and that's it. I'm gonna put it on top of a cookie sheet just so that if it spills over, it will catch it. I'm gonna bake it for about an hour, and then I will be back to show you the finished product. But look at that. That is a one big dish, one heavy dish. Okay guys, it's time to taste our little casserole here. And it did come out, it stayed in the oven for 50 minutes. I will leave the recipe and everything linked down below in the description box, just take a look there. This is very good, it's a lot of food guys. Mmm. Oh that's very good. Very good, real nice and creamy. And you can taste the chicken, you can taste the broccoli. Every, every item has its distinct flavor, and it's cheesy, I mean, and it has bacon. How much more can you ask for in a casserole? It's really good, guys. I hope you give it a try. Thanks for spending time with me today. Don't forget, leave a comment, big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. That really helps my channel out a lot. Don't forget to go visit my new channel at Let's Haul Away. I will link it for you up above, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.